Welcome to a short video on how to edit the header of your Shopify store. So the Shopify theme we're using is the Wolf of Shopify Alpha Wolf theme. So to get that theme, all you have to do is navigate to wolfofshopify.com and it's the Alpha Wolf theme. And what we're doing here is we're going to be editing the header, specifically the colors is what I want to edit. Now, the way to do that is to first head over to this theme settings button. And since we're using Shopify 2.0, all our settings are going to be on the right side over here. Okay. And so here's the button that says colors. And we're going to click on colors. And we're going to scroll down to uh, something that says header. So we're going to look at these titles here. Here it says text and links. So that doesn't necessarily he say header. Here we have color header. Okay, so color header is where we want to be. Now, if you notice, we have a banner and the header is almost transparent, right? Because we have the menu button here, we have the search, we have all this, but it's in front of the actual banner and all the content of the website. And we can confirm that by reading this. It says background color header and it's transparent, right? When Whenever you see these boxes like this, that means it's transparent. Well, we could switch that up. I personally don't want to. You could see how it changes. I like the transparent look, believe it or not. So I'm just going to hit escape here and I'm going to hit reload. Okay. So let's hit reload on that. And once again, it's just preference. I like the transparent look. Some people might not. Okay. The next thing is our color general. So color general generally refers to your search button sometimes. Just depends on what theme you have. Depends on your uh, menu button. I generally like a lighter gray color. So I'm going to kind of drag it similar to something like this and check out the color. So I actually like the way this gray looks. I think it's very sleek and that's the one I'm going to go with. So I'm going to hit save here because it's important to remember to save your progress. Right, we have background color mini cart. So the background color of the mini cart is this section right here. Notice how it turned orange when I hovered over. When I moved away, it's this gray blackish color, and that same color is here. We can go ahead and change that, right? So we can match that with a dark gray like we had before, right? And Notice that when we take our mouse and we hover over, it's orange. And this is this theme has a feature to where when when you hover over some links, not all links, but some links, they turn orange, very similar to this link. Um, and for example, the search button and this currency and things like that. Right. So what we need to do is we can switch this up. Right. So I can, you know, if it's for example, this orange, I can make it a blue if I wanted to, right? Something like this. I'm personally not interested in the blues. So let's just uh, make this a little bit darker, almost like a black. I think that will look pretty sleek. And that's actually the look that I like, right? So if I go over here to the menu, notice how it turns black. Maybe I should change the color just a little bit. A little lighter so that it can show for animation okay it's kind of hard to notice but go with it anyway there we go that's that's better let's hit save on that so when I take my mouse and I hover over here it changes the color right so let's look at the other colors here we have the color mini cart so if you notice there is a uh, color of the actual cart icon, right? And that's kind of what the mini cart is. If I want to switch that, it will be switched. I personally prefer white. I think white looks clean. Okay. We have the background color of the mini cart, which is once again the color that we just edited. And then we have the color mini cart count. So, what is the mini cart count? It's this number two over here. And this number two represents how many items in the cart. And this background color mini cart, or excuse me, this mini cart count is the actual number. So we can change that actual number color. And I like the color black. So I'm going to go with all black, right? Um, 
here we have the background of the mini cart so it's that white bubble around the number two if you guys can see it and that's going to stay white for me I'm gonna leave that just the way it is right and we can kind of switch things up here um, there's a lot of things we can switch but I think it, it looks perfect the way the header is it's a sticky header right when I scroll down sticky means that the header moves with the website or or it stays where it is um, if it wasn't sticky it would just disappear once we scroll down but I like to have my sticky header there and you could see here once I scroll down the logo pops the the buttons look very clear in any condition so this is just a short video to show you guys how to edit the header of the um, Shopify theme uh, specifically the Wolf of Shopify theme and if you guys are interested I will leave a discount in the description box down below it's a $25 discount it will also work on the regular wolf theme but um, this is a video on how to do that alright thank you guys for watching talk to you guys later peace